Perhaps you're moving to Denver and want to know what you're getting into. Perhaps you already live in Denver and just want to learn a few more things about the Mile High City. I have dug up a collection of facts that I find to be interesting and I think give you an idea of the whole picture about what it's like to live in Denver, Colorado. Beyond just, it's by the mountains and weed's legal. So, seven things to know about Denver. Number one, the cost of living is slightly above average. There is a thing called the cost of living index. It factors in a bunch of stuff, housing, utilities, groceries, healthcare, etc. On this cost of living index, the average is 100. 100. Denver is at 128.7, slightly above. For reference, New York City's cost of living index is 187.2. And in Phoenix, it's 103.7. So Phoenix, New York City, and then Denver is like here. However, one thing not factored into this index is taxes. So item number two, taxes in Denver are relatively low. Colorado has a flat income tax rate of 4.63, which puts it right around the middle of the pack. Property taxes, however, are low. It varies by county, but generally in Denver and the surrounding areas, property taxes are around half a percent, putting it among the lowest in the country. Thinking about a vacation home where you won't have to pay taxes out the wazoo? Go west, young man. Or woman. Now, enough of the financials. Point number three, the elevation may take some adjustment. Now, the savvy geographers know that Denver itself is not actually in the mountains next to the mountains. However, the elevation of the city is still pretty high. If you live in Denver, you've seen the number probably all over town, 5280. Here's what that means. When you move here, it might take a week or two to adjust. Sleep might be wonky and you're gonna get winded going upstairs. The sun is very strong, sunscreen is important, and booze is gonna hit you harder. So take it easy on that first pub crawl. Number four, the weather is very sunny. Denver, Colorado has 300 days of sunshine a year, which is significantly more than Florida, for example. Honestly, 300 days of sunshine is a lot. It seems like freaking Groundhog Day. It comes to the point where a cold and rainy day, when you get it, it's kind of a relief. And that, my friend, is a good place to be. Overall, very nice weather in Denver. Low humidity, lots of sunshine, loads of vitamin D. The weather can be erratic, but overall, nice. Number five, the dress code is casual. I saw a comedian years ago and he remarked that this is the worst dress crowd he's ever seen. Now this comedian's career was in shambles a few years later due to multiple allegations, but the point he made was accurate. There are pockets of nicer dress in Denver, Colorado, like Cherry Creek, for example. The people there just look different, all wearing like loafers without socks. But overall, it's very relaxed. Jeans, shorts, whatever, just hopefully not jean shorts. It's the old cow town roots coming through. Number six, Denver is a young city. Now you've probably heard this before, but let me hit you with the stat. 60% of Denver residents are under the age of 40, 60%. And that puts the median age well under the national average. You get a lot of youthful energy here. And even if you yourself are not in this demographic, it's not a bad thing. It keeps you young. With all the youth comes lots of exercise, lots of entrepreneurship, lots of Beer. It's almost aggressive how much beer there is. Again, pace yourself. And number seven, Denver has a lot of transplants. At this point, it almost seems rare to meet a Denver native. And those who are, are understandably often quite proud of it. But even for those of us who have been here a long time, often we come from elsewhere. Minnesota in the house. So why do so many people move here? Hmm. Uh huh. Anyway, the point is, if you're from out of town, you'll fit right in. That's it for me, but hey, if you are moving here and you want to know where the cheapest places to live in Denver are, check out this video we did on three affordable neighborhoods in the Mile High City. You will love it. As always, you are the best, and we will talk soon.